What were your thoughts when you saw the beneficence of Joe Biden parachuting in some loaves and fishes not to feed the multitudes in the Gaza Strip? You both, both you and I know the Gaza Strip very well. You made a wonderful uh, series of films about it. Were you sickened by me at the revolting fear that was dropping from the air from American Air Force jets? Well, first of all, George, congratulations on your resounding victory. Uh, I think Thank that you. I could speak on behalf of the world when I say we are thrilled to have you back in office. I mean, look, Joe Biden is a, a genocider. He's a criminal. He's sitting there eating ice cream, pontificating on, oh, maybe we can have a ceasefire next week or perhaps the week after. It's an abomination as 2.3 million people less now uh, since so many scores have been killed. Uh, but starvation has taken hold, George, and we know that dropping a mere 28,000, I think, aid packets, food packets, as bombs are also simultaneously being dropped while people are starving to death, what does that do? It's a drop in the bucket. And you have the audacity of publications like the New York Times who just ran with a falsified story about mass rape taking place hiring random psychopaths to adjudicate the atrocities on October 7th. And they're writing haikus, trying to talk around this nonsense on the heels of this massacre, this widespread massacre where Israeli tanks and snipers open fire on Palestinians scavenging, starving to death. George, this is what we're dealing with. It's complete moral bankruptcy from the entire world. And look at two Congress people and our Congress, Cory Bush and Rashida Tlaib, they're the only people who have pledged to stop arming this genocidal apartheid state. I'm embarrassed to be an American. I'm embarrassed that this is the political representation that we have five months in to this genocide, George.